guys, Grabby Peeps, Susanna here to share with you uh, the second part of my digital die cut video series. And today I'm using the positive. So last week I used the negative of this digital heart cut file. And there's the layout that I used. And I've taken the insides. And what I'm calling the positive is what I'm using on this layout today. I am using the pink paisley. Oh my heart collection and my original plan for this had been to use there was a there's a scalloped piece and to cut some of those scallops and put them in with these scallop positives from the digital cut file but it was way too busy um, it could have worked uh, but I really liked the way that the scallops from the positive of the digital cut file that I used worked against this watercolor background so I just tried to reconstruct them on my pattern paper and then I went upstairs and I took my sewing machine with a variegated thread and I straight stitched and then did a couple of zigzag stitches. I end up covering the one that goes halfway through the heart where those pictures are which is kind of a bummer. Um, I could have gone back in and put some others in but decided that it was okay. I sewed on it and it's covered no big deal. Um, my original plan had been to do two clusters of photos two and two at the top half and the bottom half of the heart but it, it didn't work. I had pre-cut some uh, fussy cut some flowers from one of the other Oh My Heart pattern papers. Uh, I edited that out of the video and did it off camera because you all know how to fussy cut. There's no need to see that. And it took a whole lot of time fussy cutting some of these flowers. So I'm just playing around with the arrangement of where I want these things to go. These pictures are of some ranunculi, I think that's the plural for ranunculus, that I bought at Trader Joe's and I absolutely love these flowers. They're some of my absolute favorite flowers and they lasted a really long time and they were just made me happy. So I, I wanted to scrapbook that. Um, when I laid this digital cut file down, had I not already created my other, other layout, what I could have done was put this down on the paper in the framework of the other cut file, but I'd already created this, so I just created it as it was, and I really wasn't that worried about the perfection of the heart coming back together because you see what it is, and um, really I, I'm not all that type A, although I am pretty type A. So I'm just arranging things to find a pleasing balance. Um, the the yellows and the mustard and the pinks and the fuchsia in the water file on the background paper. I want to add some balance and put some yellows from the top down in the pinks of the bottom and some pinks from the bottom up at the top. I think you understand what I'm saying. Um, so I am just looking for some balance in that and I, I like to have a visual triangle. So I've created the visual tri triangle of that big pink flower above the pictures, the yellow flower below the pictures, and then that white flower off to the right border. And I like the way that that visual triangle is a opposite visual tri triangle from the triangle that the heart creates. I had some foam that I put on the left hand side and right hand side picture just to pop that up a little bit and not all of the leaves and the petals and the flowers are stuck down just for a little bit of movement on the page. I also left the the ends of my sewing thread. If you remember a couple of weeks back I had a video of kits that I had reconstructed from my old Coco Daisy kits. So you see here some of the Coco Daisy ephemera that I thought would go really well with this collection as I was recreating kits. So this is actually one of my recreated kits as well as the positive of that digital cut file. So you know my shuffle and I'm shuffling things around to just add a little bit of embellishment to this. This is the uh, puffy stickers that come with the Oh My Heart collection and I wanted to use a few of those. I'm really into the puffy stickers lately and I thought that that aqua would look really nice against the aqua of the leaves and sort of pop that but that puffy element ended up just being too much 
and I have this title, The Good Life, from the puffy stickers, and I tried putting it up top, but the, the yellow on yellow didn't go very well, and I really like the way that the yellow popped off of the pink and brought your eye from that yellow on the top of the page down to the yellow on the pink on the bottom of the page where the title sits. These are just a few more puffy stickers to fill in the hearts. I had these dots that were also part of an old Coco Daisy kit that I thought would be fun, but I ended up abandoning those. And I found some washi that was of that pink to put a little bit more pink up the top, but decided against that. And I really liked this scallop puffy border. So you've got the, the weight of the pink down the bottom in the pattern paper, and then the weight of that scallop border and the brighter colors up the top that balance each other out. And a acrylic heart from Lawn Fawn, Freckled Fawn, one of the fawns, Freckled Fawn, and just trimming off the edge of that uh, die cut flower from another layout that I created earlier. I save all of the die cuts, both the positive and the negative, and I usually find some way of using them. I have a small collection of sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I love the way that these look on the page and just wanted a little pop and knew that I had some colors that were going to coordinate with this. And originally, I was going to put two or three clusters of the sequins, but decide that just the ones up the top on the left-hand side of the heart are sufficient. It's a little too much down the bottom there. I really love the way that that orange of the ac uh, acrylic camera pop off of the red there, uh, not red, pink there. So I'm just putting some finishing touches to this layout, and I am going to show you a couple of close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this series on using both the positive and the negative of a digital cup file. If you're inspired to create anything based on this, I'd love to see what you have. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for joining me today. Take care.